Here am I getting up? Uh, you're fine. I'm filming right now. Oh, okay. So this is the right knee. Had a scope in March. And uh, is a little bit uh, warm to touch, but it's only been about 10 minutes that you've had your brace off and compressive sleeve off. The knee and hip is maintaining slight flexion. I do have a prop underneath him. I'll take that out. And we screened his hip joint and his hip joint motion is actually pretty good. A little bit resistant going into extension but I was able to get full extension. He walks with a distinct limp and because no one knows why his knee pain continues to be severe, we need to try and see if we can solve that. One theory is just maybe he keeps it reflexively in flexion because he has a hyperextension fixation of the distal femur. And I have a dramatic video on YouTube of someone th that I treated a couple weeks ago in, when I taught in Florida. And she had 40 years of knee pain couldn't stand on that leg, couldn't straighten it, etc. And uh, it was five minutes of bringing the distal femur forward. So I just tested him a while ago, putting a towel underneath the, the distal femur, blocking the tibia and bringing femur forward. And he tolerated that very well. Whereas pressure posterior on, on the distal femur is not tolerated well. So what I want to do is capture your, your walking, Paul, and uh, I'm just going to focus on the lower extremities and uh, and after that we'll come and we'll treat it and we'll see if we can make a difference. Now when I treat you if it gets uncomfortable I'll know it before you tell me and I'll stop. Okay. Alternately you say stop, I stop. Okay and I return the force gently. Over the count of three I let go of it. I don't abruptly let go. So um, you don't need to worry at all about me increasing your pain. Okay. So I'm going to uh, turn the camera and can I have you step down don't worry about that I'll pick it up so I just want you to walk uh, walk out the room and back a couple of times ready yeah yeah go ahead so there's no doubt that walking is painful and after you drive, what, 30 minutes, you have to be really careful about uh, getting out of the vehicle, correct? Yeah, it hurts really, really bad. But standing is tolerated better than sitting? Yes. Okay. Because I was sitting in a chair like that with right. my knees. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So let's have you lie on your back one more time. On a pain scale of 0 to 10, on a daily basis, your pain gets how high? Easy, 6, 7, mm -hmm. 8. And what's the lowest number on any given day? Like a 3? Yeah. Okay. It's, yeah. Alrighty. Back on my back? Yeah, please. So I do want to test one more movement, and you can lie on your back, and I'm going to roll this leg in, and I'm going to roll this leg in, you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to film uh, the amount of hip motion that you have, and uh, I'm just going to do that on the on the right side, which happens to be very similar to uh, the motion that you have on the left. So let me bend this knee, and I'll I'll, I'll go very easy. So both knees, I I'm sorry, both hips, I can bring up to about 90 degrees, and uh, if I do a scour test like a clock, making a circle, they are very similar, and. I can abduct the hip, I can bring the leg out to the side, I can cross over to the other hip. When you were on your stomach I was able to extend the hip 
Um, the knee I was able to bend to 90 degrees, but hyperextension of this knee is uncomfortable. So I'm going to stop filming now and we're going to go ahead and treat it. And we are going to bring distal femur forward for five minutes, as long as it's tolerated well. We'll block the, the uh, lower leg and we'll come back and see if we accomplish anything. Okay? It's an experiment. We'll find out.